What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to take care of baby box turtles. As you guys know, I have my two small little baby Florida box turtles. And you know, a lot of people find it very difficult to take care of baby box turtles, especially just because their care is a little, I would say it's a little bit harder than the adults. Just uh, having them be fed, you know, keeping them active and it's a little tough. So I'm showing you guys how I do it, what's been working for me. And as you guys couldn't tell, I did get a new camera. Well, not a new camera, but I got some new attachments for it. So, I don't know. Quality should look a little better. Let me know, let me know in the comments if it does. And, yeah. I also cut my hair, so. This is new, but let's get into the video. All right, guys. So, right over here, we have my baby Florida box turtle enclosure. And right there, we have a nice little tub with about... I have about like an inch of water in there. That's what I find works best. That's what I use to hydrate them daily and feed them in. So it's been working for me. Now we're just gonna go and find these little guys. Let's see if we have anybody inside there. I don't see anything. They usually like to hide right up here. So, oh, here's one. Look at this little dude. These guys are, they're getting a little bigger. And they're both active, and the other one should be right here. This one is a little bit bigger. He is also doing amazing. Right there are two little baby box turtles. So, what I do is, right over here, in this little cooler, I have their food. We got this little tub of worms. So put that there. I think there's only like one or two left in there. And then I have to take some little, little scissors. And then, what we're going to do is, we're going to take the worm out of here. As you can see, it got pretty wet in there, but it's a pretty big worm too. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to set you guys up right here so you can see what I do. Alright, so right there we have the worm. So I'm basically just gonna take this guy out of here. Here he is, he's still alive. And then we're gonna go put it right inside the water. I know they cannot eat it just like this. As you can tell, the, the turtles are still very small. So it's gonna be difficult for them to eat it like that. So what I do is I take my scissors, take the worm, and just uh, cut it into like small little bite sized pieces for your turtle depending on how big your turtle is and it should work so basically oh my god that thing's going crazy it probably would be better with a knife but I don't have one that I can use for this currently as you can see he is not liking this so i think i'm just gonna hold them and just cut them this way come here there you go yeah this is working a lot better gonna lift him up I like to squirm around so it's gonna be pretty slippery cut a few pieces off probably cut about like half this worm just because the turtles are still small they're still babies, so they're not going to eat a whole bunch. But that's about, we got five pieces in there right now. I'll probably cut another piece right there. And then the rest of the worm. Let's take scissors, put them to the side. This worm, I'm just going to go and give it to Lee. Come on, girl. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and grab the baby box turtles over here and then put them inside the tub. So this little guy went back up here. Look at him. These guys are looking amazing. They're doing well. So go put him inside. Like I said, this is good for them to hydrate and they eat I find best that they eat while in the water. That's like the only way I got them to eat. And highly suggest it. 
Now we have to go and find the other one. Come on, buddy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here you go. Go. Throw them inside the other. Inside the water with the other one. And then set you guys up right here. So you guys can see these guys eat. You see that one right there? He already has a piece. And yeah. It's probably better from this angle, actually. There you go. So as for their enclosure, we have a simple mortar tub that you can get from Home Depot. This costs about, I want to say five bucks around there. And then we just have the UVB light. I will be adding a heat bulb for uh, these guys and my ornate just cause it's getting a little colder out. And then we just have some topsoil and peat moss mix. And then we have some sphagnum moss over here, which helps a lot with the humidity. That's what these guys like. You can see them. They're about to fight over that worm. He's chasing them. But I have this big spray thing right here. I just go once a day. And whenever it starts to dry out, just take it and give it a nice spray around. But this over here, I like to keep very uh, damp just because they love the humidity. And, you know, they just... This is like their favorite spot to hang out and just hide in. So every single day, as long as if it dries out, I just go and I do this, just spray it down. It's nice and wet, just about there. And that's pretty much it. I have the little food bowl here just for, you know, when they're ready to start eating out of the water. And a nice little pot for them to hide in if they wanted to. And then we have their little log hide, which they really don't use. They're always just hiding inside the moss. These guys are always, they're pretty much going to stay buried for the first couple months of their lives just because that's how babies are. So if you're worried about them hiding away too much, not really coming out, don't be worried. As long as they're eating like that and, you know, you're keeping them hydrated, they should do perfectly fine. And look at her, she just came out of her little burrow down there. But she's up finishing eating, eating that worm back there. She just dragged it over there. And then the albinos are also doing good. I just finished feeding them not too long ago. You see one of them right there. But everybody is doing amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Taking care of these guys. It's not too hard. It's pretty simple, but you know, a lot of people do struggle, so I thought I should make this video. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these little baby box turtles. These guys are amazing. Highly recommend them for any turtle owner. I would suggest Garden State Tortoise. That's where I got my two Florida box turtles from. They're doing great. So I highly recommend them. But that's going to be it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next video.